everyone. My name is Ivan and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Daytona. Today we're going to talk about the VS Code extension that we created for Daytona. And so what is Daytona after seeing it for three times? Well, Daytona is a development environment management platform. Basically, it means that companies and organizations can install Daytona on their own infra, be it their own servers or cloud or wherever it may be. And Daytona will manage, spin up, deploy develop environments remotely for their engineers. And so you as an engineer that want to or have to use something like Daytona, uh, we want to enable it to be as easy and frictionless as possible because remote development environments have basically been connected with browser-based IDEs. And so browser-based IDs come with a lot of constraints. And as an engineer, you don't want those constraints. You want to be able to work in the IDE that you know and love. And today that's Visual Studio Code. And for that reason, we created a Visual Studio Code extension for Daytona. To install the Visual Studio Code extension, you go to your extensions, um, search for Daytona and hit install. Also, if you're actually using Daytona already, as I am right now, and you set VS Code as your uh, editor of choice, once opening it, it will automatically install Daytona as well. So a quick walkthrough of Daytona. Basically, you have your workspaces, so I have two of them spun up. You can have as many as you like. Um, my account settings, I can connect any GitHub provider, both on-prem and cloud. I can pick my favorite editor, Thea, VS Code, or anything of the JetBrains family. We'll keep it at VS Code add my dot files, environment variables, SS keys, keys, and whatnot. The teams are for another video. And back to workspaces. So if I want to open a workspace inside of VS Code, uh, basically all I have to do is hit here. It will ask me, do you want to open it in Visual Studio Code? I can hit always, never ask me for this again. For now, I'll leave it and I hit open VS Code. And we're off. Opening workspaces, where to set the the config and here we are we're inside the workspace completely and so as you see ls i've already been using this one so it shows you all my history but that is there i can close that now go back to my vs code and what's also interesting is that if i have my plugin i actually have the same functionality that i do from my browser-based dashboard as you can see the same workspaces are here as well also, we have something down here which is called profiles. Well, the profiles are here because Daytona is a self-installed product or self-hosted. And as such, you can have multiple of them. You know, one for your open source projects, one for private stuff, one for work. And so you can switch between all of these right now. And so basically you can do the same thing as you were doing from the dashboard. You can create a new workspace. You can stop, uh, stop one, destroy one, delete one, or you can open it up. So I'll just hit one right here open and it will open the project right now all from my vs code never having to leave it so in a nutshell that is our vs code extension i hope you try it out and you try out the tone as well thank you so much